Welcome back guys, I'm not taking this out today, I just need to move it, but we are going out in the TT today. Oi. Hey. So where are we going today then? What day out? Oh, a little day nice. trip. Alpaca trekking. Alpaca trekking. Yeah, it was a birthday present. Yeah, this has been, it's been about a year. You yeah. got this about a year ago, didn't you? Did, yeah, so we're just squeezing it in before it um, runs out. <laughs> well, they run out of alpacas. So it's a good chance to get out in the car. Now it's um, now the weather's a bit better, I'm using the TT a bit more. Um, a few of you wanted an update on the TT, actually. Um, it's going really well, actually. I have got one little engine management light that sort of keeps popping up now and again, so I need to get back to Devils for like a, a retune. And it's not really reaching, it's more like just tweaking the map to um, to make sure that sort of, you know, doesn't pop up. It's not affecting anything, there's not really any, any problems. And it's just, yeah, it's just an absolute blast, this thing. It absolutely savage amount of power for the, for the weight. Um, it, it really is just so much fun to drive. It scares the hell out of you, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> it's kind of like, give it some welly when I'm not, when I'm Expecting. looking at my phone or something, and it just, you know, scares the living daylights out of me. Yeah, so I need to I need to get back up to, um, to Devils at some point. It's it's annoying because it's quite a long way away. It's you know about a two hour journey, which is like a whole day's round trip. Plus, when you're down there, you sort of need to spend quite a long. Well, the car needs to be in there for quite a, quite a while while um, Ben sort of does his magic. So it's better really to just leave the car down there, but it's two hours away, so it's not really not really viable. Anyway, looking forward to today. Should be pretty fun. Yeah, and the sun, well, the sun actually just came out for a second. Um, it is quite a bumpy ride, this. Apologies for the, uh, the camera footage. <laughs> my, is, my arms are bouncing hard. around all over the place. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is a hard ride, actually. I'm noticing that more now I'm not in it as much. Like, it's definitely hard. And it's only running on, it's like 19 inch wheels. So it's not like I've got like 20 inch wheels or anything on here. Um, I might have to have a look at different a different sort of suspension setup it'd be kind of cool to have something um like that you could adapt so like you can basically set as you're going so you can say oh, i want to ride soft on the motorway now i'll just flick it into like that mode i've looked at some of those systems but they are quite a lot they're quite a lot of money so i don't know we'll see but tt's here to stay anyway i'm keeping it it's, it's staying am i of <laughs> course <laughs> Is that it? That's that, it. That is, it? even though that should be a picture of an alpaca, but yeah. And it's called Eagle Tree, isn't it? Eagle Heights. Eagle, Eagle, Heights. Eagle Heights. Eagle Heights. We're here. The detailing's holding up pretty well as well. It still looks pretty shiny. Sheep, you're gonna have a few. This is Bernard. Stuff, you've got over in South America. <laughs> Oi. Oi. He's having a way. It's an absolute killing machine, isn't it? It's like a vulture. That's scary, isn't it? That would do some damage, wouldn't it? It is a bit small in there from but they are flown, so oh, it's it just hard to... It is actually a vulture. Crazy. They don't look real, do they? They're just so like... God, look at that one up there! <gasps> the size of that! It's a sea eagle. Hello, mate. Hey. That's all right. This is my wife. <laughs> What's that? The meerkats? Oh my God, look! Look at him! So small, isn't he? Oh my God, they're he's so little, isn't he? cute! Oh, I love them. <laughs> the way they like to spin around. I'm going to turn my back on you. What do you reckon to that then? Oh, it's really good. It's good, wasn't it? Yeah. It was good. They are so cute. Yeah. 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 
We've made the mistake of coming to this lakeside shopping centre on a bank holiday just to get something to eat. It is absolutely rammed. I've just let Helen out of the car because I couldn't find anywhere to park. So you can see, little engine management light on there. So there is a fault code. It keeps coming back. I'm sure we'll get this sorted out anyway. I did actually look up the fault code and it's, it's airflow related, but we did actually sort of did some tests on, on that, checked all the sensors and everything else and it's actually fine. So it is definitely something to do with the tune. Obviously, if you don't know, you haven't seen those videos. It's had um, a hybrid turbo, an L380X hybrid turbo. It's had uprated fuel pump. It's had loads of stuff done to it. I can't even remember now, but <laughs> basically it's, it's running about 450 brake horsepower um, with about 500 newton meters. So it is staggeringly quick. Um, but yeah, just a few little teething, teething issues, but it's been going strong for a year. So there's absolutely no problem there. Helen's maneuvering the Twizzy. We just got back. Where's she going? Hey, better wheel spin. Do it again. <laughs> I love the Twizzy guys, it's so cool. Even though this thing's got knocking on 500 horsepower, that thing is just such a blast. Well, it's the next day now, guys. What a brilliant day we had yesterday. It was such a good laugh. Um, it's always good to get out and do different bits like that, just random. Um, yeah, so getting out in the TT was good as well. Um, it's just an absolute beast, that car. Um, I'm so glad that I've done all the mods that I've done to it because it's, it just completely transformed. So for those of you who don't know, this is the second TT Mark III that I've had. And the first one I had, I had it for a little while when they first come out, there wasn't even like a, a TTS or an RS model or anything like that to buy. So I literally just went straight in and just got like a standard TT. And I always thought it was missing something. Like it, it had some performance there, don't get me wrong. It had, quite a bit of performance but and it's a light car but it just lacked a bit of something so then obviously when I got the second one um, I just kind of went in and just you know got it remapped straight away and you know that that was like a huge huge improvement straight away off the bat so like a stage one a good stage one on one of those sort of TTs will transform that into a most people will just not want more than that that is just you know pretty pretty damn good make sure you get the um, the DSG mapped as well because that does that makes a huge amount of difference on a stage one to get a proper stage one done with a DSG and, and you'll be you'll absolutely love it. So it's a lot of bang for the buck because these cars go you know on a sort of 2016 to 2017 play they're around like 19, 18, 19. You can pick these up for um, thousand pounds in the UK. So you know not cheap cheap, but it's actually kind of like a good rank. There's not a lot of cars you can get. For, for the, with that amount of bang for the buck, you've got a, obviously you've got a you know DSG um, a S Tronic six speed gearbox, and it is super quick as well. Like it changes gears really fast. You get the characteristic um, DSG farts, they call them the noise at the back of the exhaust, exhaust when you change gear, all of that. So you're getting quite a lot of car. I should work for Audi, shouldn't I? But yeah, anyway, all I wanted to sort of report back to you guys is after a year of kind of you know doing loads of mods last year went went for it proper just went in like stage three 450 horsepower blah 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 um had loads of stuff done and you know i'm not i've not regretted it at all it's made the car you know an absolute weapon and you know i'm not all about just you know raw power at the expense of everything you know i, I want to have a car that's sort of decent to drive as well um so overall having something that's just kind of in line with like high-end you know things like m3s and stuff like that you know all of the new ones of those are running you know or what are they like for it's a, i mean 450 horsepower for, for like a, a kind of off, off the shelf high performance car now is not unusual that's quite a quite a sort of rounded figure to have now um you know you you'll get that if you spend the money um but this is like a 19 sort of you know 20 grand car or whatever with about five grand's worth of mods on it I mean, 10 in, it will probably work out about 10 in total. I've got a few discounts here, here along the way. And I've done lots of other bits, like, you know, brakes and extra bits. So you can go in pretty, you know, pretty deep, but 100% worth it. There's no kind of electric car as well, because I was looking at, you know, what, what do I do? You know, if I'd gone in and got a Tesla, I'd have to get a Tesla performance model to, you know, come anywhere near the performance that the TT's got. And then, you know, you're just seeing hundreds of those around and, you know, they're just lease cars basically now. So, you know, I think it's an interesting time for performance internal combustion engine cars um, because we're coming to the end of end of an era. Obviously, we can't deny we're coming to the end of an era, but 
the engines are so advanced. Like what you can get out of some of these engines now is just reliably as well, is just absolutely amazing. And so, you know, on one hand, internal combustion engines are sort of phasing out, but they are right as good as the best they can possibly be right now. And electric's just right at its early stages. So we're gonna see some interesting stuff happen like with, with the electric stuff. I wanna see things get smaller because I don't wanna drive around a four by four and I don't want a Tesla. And I don't want some weird looking, you know, Hyundai or something like that. I, I want, <laughs> I want what I want. Anyway, guys, I won't bore you anymore. I'm super stoked with how everything's kind of gone with this this build, and I'm going to be keeping it for you know for the meantime. I've got no plans um, to sell it. Uh, we'll get those engine management things sorted out. That's just just a tune. I'm not bothered about that at all, and I'll keep you updated going forward from that. Anyway, guys, good point to end the video, and also talk about the new album that's out now. Um, for those of you who don't know, I make all the music for the videos and I make you know other music as well to release. So you can check out my Spotify, it's just my name, Andy Kirby, or iTunes or anywhere you can get music. You can stream music, you can listen to the music. Some of it you'll notice from the videos as well, um, been requested. So yeah, all that's released now. There's a new album as well. You can get it from my website directly um, if you want to support the channel and show a bit of yeah, support that way. It's like eight quid for 12 tracks and you can use them in your own um, YouTube videos as well because I'm not I haven't put, signed them up to content ID for YouTube so you're free to use those and monetize your videos with those tunes in if you so wish but yeah I'd be really grateful for your support on that one I'll put the links below I'll catch you next time